<clears throat> Welcome back everybody and uh, today I want to close the this series of videos I uh, wanted to do uh, at least two more uh, but this is gonna be it and uh, so far testing this stone has been fantastic it's been awesome uh, but I have uh, two other JNS to test and uh, uh, Thuringian and some other stones so this is gonna be my closing remarks on this stone and I'm gonna tell you what have I have done so far so in my last video I went from a 1k and try to do a one stone hone after setting the bevel on a Chosera 1k and that went pretty good when I closed the video when I turned it off uh, after that I spent about 15 20 minutes still honing on it uh, until I thought it was good enough for a shave and it was and it was very comfortable shave it was a good shave I liked it so after that uh, what you didn't see was I went and reset the bevel on the same razor this gold dollar right there and then went to the 3k Naniwa super stone and then from there I used this stone and then I shaved from it and that was way better uh, I find that a lot of JNATs that I have that after the 3k to the JNAT they provide an excellent excellent uh, edge uh, can it be superior probably but that's the edge that I like right off the 3k and that's what you need to find when you are using your stone what is the combination that you like the most right so today I want to do another video uh, obviously you're here but I wanted to do a video going off an AK and telling you my impressions of this stone my final impressions of this stone so I have an Aniwa Superstone AK and that's the one that I'm gonna be uh, following from so this Razor, if you guys can see, probably the edge is like mirror. And I just came off an AK. And when you come off an AK, just piece of advice over there, that the razor should be shave ready. Um, if you have never shaved from an AK, from your AK, you should. That will give you a baseline for everything that you test. That way you know if the, the, the edge improved or not based on feeling not only on, on, on looking through the through the through the scope or loop or whatever so i have shaven off of that ak this ak uh many many times and so i i know the feeling and so when you're finishing off after an ak um you're basically done you're done is finished now you're doing the final uh, i call it post finish uh and this stone is definitely harder than an ak and it definitely provides a great finishing uh edge so what is going to happen is i'm just going to go a little bit on it to get that mirror finish into a beat blast finish and then it should be good you don't need to spend that much time you already up in the upper level. I don't even do circles after the AK or half strokes. There's no need. Um, the thing with this stone, if you guys saw, this is like an inch and a half thick. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful stone. Here's the 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 closer remarks on it. It might get you know it might need sealing, but that's up to the owner of the stone. Now. My biggest concern was the line, not a, a, a huge concern uh, when I, after I lapped it. But the thing that I was looking out the most for, um, you cannot even feel the line with your hand. And you can't even, it won't catch, it's not, it's not, it's not there. It's like it's not there. And I think it actually gives the character, it looks really cool. So, so let's get some honing going. I love how this stone looks like wet. Check it out. See that line now? It barely, you can barely see it when, the, when it's wet and it's like 
right there like that. It's a beautiful, beautiful stone. And we're gonna use a DNT325. I'm gonna raise some slurry. And it doesn't have to be a very thick slurry. We already are in the finishing stages of this racer. Um, so it doesn't need a very, very thick slurry. That probably is too much. So dilute it a little bit. And then we just go at it. It is a very smooth stone and uh, you might ask yourself like how come he's doing close-up <laughs> remarks on the stone but he is yet testing after the 8k right so for me for my taste and this varies from person to person uh, this stone is fantastic it is a good stone if this was my stone I will be using it probably after the four, uh, 3K or 4K. Um, but that's what I do with most JNets anyways. And that will be that will be where I, I'll be using it. Now, I'm doing this because I want to see how much refinement I can get before I even touch, touch it with this stone, uh, the razor. So, at that point, at the AK, is already finished, and uh, I'm just I just know that this razor will be laser sharp. Um, I'm gonna be quiet a little bit so you guys can hear the stone. It is a very nice stone. It feels like greasy, almost. Uh, I, that's the only way I can describe it. And uh, right now I'm just doing, just weight of the blade, uh, strokes. All I want is to get that B-blast finish on it. I don't want to make that edge way too thin. And I'm gonna finish uh, with slurry, actually. Um, See how I'm looking. I'm already there. That's looking really nice. You can see it from here. Um, all right. That was just very nice. So actually, we're just gonna finish on water. Let's do it. Let's just finish with water. Let's just dilute it. I just dipped it in water there. Put too much slurry on that stone. Uh, so yes, you're testing stones and you come to this point, do you just find a happy place and then you don't test anymore? Of course not. Every stone will act different with every metal with different types of metal and right now this stone hone really nicely a gold dollar the same gold dollar I used over and over the same one less variables right now this stone might do great with a gold dollar and might do okay with I don't know Solingen and then it might do fantastic with a TI a French uh, razor uh, or might do poorly uh, I don't think it will do poorly with any razor but it will do less favorable I guess just wipe that out right now I'm just diluting this slurry this is a fast stone so there you go that's nice
feels really nice and it's undercutting like crazy. It's gonna be a very nice shave in the morning. I'm sure of it. All right, so I'm just gonna rinse her off and we're just gonna go straight to water. I haven't done that yet. Um, I have only finished with it with just uh, with slurry. Uh, most Janas I just finished with slurry. Unless it's a softer one and then I'll finish with just water. So. And we're getting some traction already. So right now it's getting really sticky. If you're testing a stone or you're honing and it gets sticky like that, um, means that you're creating suction. And uh, I had a conversation with Caleb, Caleb McCall. Um, he has a, a, a codical. It was not a conversation. It was more like a Facebook post, but he has a cuticle that it it just cuts faster or cuts really nicely um, with just just a splash of water, just a little bit of water. And I had this experience before with a Jaina that I have. And I haven't even tried that with this one, but um, this one Jaina that I have, and I have a video on it. It's a one of the suitas. Towards the end, I explain it where just the stone just a little bit of water on top of it just a tiny bit just that that i did there it makes the stone really really slick and uh it provided a fantastic edge so i'm gonna try on this one yeah look at that so i was getting suctioned but now it's super super smooth like glass and it's because I just took that excess of water. Some short strokes. And there it is, it's getting a little sticky again. But not too bad, not too bad. So I think we're we're there. I think that's enough. Um, and it's definitely enough for the video. But if you have a Jaina and you haven't tried that, try that. It's it's gonna be like almost dry, just just a a, a a film of water. And you will see how the suction that you are having. It just disappears and the stone just becomes glass. It's kind of cool. I actually saw a guy doing uh, doing the final touches on a dry Jane. I, I never try that. My one day, but so final thoughts is that anybody can test the stone. Just have to have baselines. So if you've done several, if you hone and have done several uh, bevel sets on a 1K, then you know how the 1K edges look like, how they feel, blah, 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 blah. Shave off of an AK. Why? Because the AK will be probably the the least, or the, the, the least grit that I will shave off of, if that makes any sense, right? I will not probably shave off a 6K. I will not even waste my time. Um, with that uh i i wouldn't even torture myself like that even if i could get a good edge i would not try that so in AK case probably the, the the least i will go but that will give you a baseline on is it better than an ak is it less than an ak uh, and then look at the scratch patterns and all that scratch patterns are not always a great indicator when it comes to natural stones every natural stone has their there are little different patterns like beat blasts on the J nuts, most of J nuts, some that I don't. And uh, you know, codicles don't do the beat blast like these. Some do kind of like beat blast, but uh, some some don't. They 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 cut different different cutting media in their uh in their <laughs> natural stone. 
So that's all I got for now. I'm probably going to remember a bunch of things that I should have told you. Um, please comment. Be nice. I always appreciate a thumbs up. More videos coming up. Uh, excellent, excellent stone to my buddy. You have a great, great stone that will last for a long, long time. And I believe this one was in the Suku uh, Sagi. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful stone. I actually wanted to keep it. <laughs> but I had too many stones. So, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later.